on electrolysis of aqueous NaCl solution using platinum electrodes, the product obtained at anode will be? The options are hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, chlorine gas or ozone gas. Students, for this question, we need to know that during electrolysis of aqueous NaCl, the product obtained at anode is Cl2 that is chlorine gas and at cathode hydrogen gas is obtained that is H2 gas. That means the correct answer is option number C. Moving to the next question, an element has a body centered cubic that is BCC structure with a cell edge length of 288 picometer. The shortest interatomic distance is the options are 4 upon root 2 into 288 picometer. The next option is root 2 upon 4 into 288 picometer. The next option is root 3 upon 2 into 288 picometer. And the last option is root 3 into 288 picometer. Students, for this question, we need to know that the shortest interatomic distance in BCC unit cell is the length of body diagonal divided by 2. So, here I am writing the shortest interatomic distance in BCC unit cell is equals to the length of body diagonal which is equals to root 3 into a upon 2. Let us put the value of a in this equation which is 288 picometer that means the correct answer is option number c. Moving to the next question, identify the incorrect statement. Students in this question we are given with four statements and we have to identify the incorrect one. So, let us start. Number one is inhibitors reduces the rate of reaction. Students, this is a correct statement as inhibitors are substances which reduces the rate of reaction. Moving to the next statement, catalyst reduces the activation energy. This is also a correct statement as catalyst provides an alternate pathway for the reaction by decreasing the activation energy between the reactants and the products. Moving to the next statement, rate constant increases on increasing temperature. This is also a correct statement as we know the relation between rate constant and temperature is given as K is equals to A E raised to the power minus E A by RT. That means on increasing temperature, the rate of reaction increases. Moving to the last statement, Catalyst catalyzes the non-spontaneous reaction. Students, this is an incorrect statement as catalyst catalyzes the spontaneous reaction. It won't be able to catalyze non-spontaneous reaction. That means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question, which of the following alkanes cannot be made in good yield by Wood's reaction? The options are N-butane, N-hexane, 3,4-dimethylhexane and 3-methylhexane. Students, for this question, we need to know that Wood's reaction is used for the preparation of symmetrical alkanes. Unsymmetrical alkanes will not be obtained in good yield using Wood's reaction. And in the given options, option number 1, butane is a symmetrical alkane. Then the second option, that is N-hexane, is also a symmetrical alkane. And the next option was 3 4 dimethyl hexane was also a symmetrical alkane. But the last option that is 3 methyl hexane is an unsymmetrical alkane. As a result, the last option that is 3 methyl hexane won't be obtained in good yield using Wood's reaction. Students, I am also explaining Wood's reaction. So, in Wood's reaction, let us say R1 halide, that is alkyl halide reacts with sodium with another molecule of alkyl halide in the presence of dry ether to give an alkane with higher number of carbon atoms and the side product will be 2 NaX. See, if the two alkyl groups used in the given equation are not same, let us say I am taking R1X plus Na and R2X in the presence of dry ether, then a mixture of alkanes will be obtained. Let us see R1, R1 plus R2, R2 plus R1, R2. 
which will be difficult to separate. As a result, Wood's reaction is only useful for the preparation of symmetrical alkanes. That means the correct answer is option number D. That means 3-methylhexane will not be formed in good yield by Wood's reaction. Moving to the next question. Identify the incorrect statement. Students in this question, we are given with four statements and we have to identify the incorrect one. So let's start. Number one, interstitial compounds are usually non-stoichiometric and are neither typically ionic nor covalent. Student, this is a correct statement as in interstitial compounds, atoms are trapped in the interstitial sites and therefore these compounds are non-stoichiometric. Moving to the next statement. The oxidation state of manganese in MnO4 2 minus and MnO4 minus ions are same. Student, this is an incorrect statement as in MnO4 2 minus the oxidation state of Mn is plus 6 and in MnO4 minus the oxidation state of Mn is plus 7. Moving to the next statement, oxidizing power of VO2 plus is lesser than that of Cr2O7 2 minus. This is also a correct statement due to the increasing stability of the lower species to which these are reduced. Moving to the last statement, Zn that is zinc and cadmium are not regarded as transition metals. Student, this is also a correct statement as zinc and cadmium has completely filled d orbital in their ground as well as excited state. That means zinc and cadmium are not considered as transition metals. That means the correct answer for this question is option B. Moving to the next question. 